This YouTube video was presented by Screamscape, your ultimate guide to theme parks. It's the coast, the cruise. We are now joined by Kevin with AB Stumful, and we were walking by, and me, myself, and Clint here, we are incredibly huge Back to the Future nerds, and this was something that made us stop in our tracks, because right behind you, Mr. Novak, is, is this a recreation of the old Back to the Future ride at Universal? Yeah, it's basically a, uh, a fan model. Um, there's, such a, there's such a close following of the, of the ride. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we do motion bases, so I threw this together, and uh, it's been very popular at the last couple shows um, because there's such a following of, of Back to the Future. It is, you know, it was a fantastic, groundbreaking ride. Yeah. And the thing I love about it was when they re-released the movie a couple years ago, it's the only time I've ever seen them really work a ride film into back into the DVD because you could have it on the DVD of Back to the Future. Yeah, that's exactly where the video came from was the DVD. And it was complete with all the pre-shows, so that's really cool. Yeah. But yeah, I just edited out the video, the pre-show. Absolutely. This is all. I mean, Clint, your your phone every time it goes off is a uh, Back to the Future theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very. Yeah. It's actually a, a fun story. Uh, we found Kevin last year at IAMA, yes. and we found the model, and we tried to get the interview. We taped half of the interview, and then the camera died. And then we came back and Kevin was busy and then we came back and, and Kevin wasn't there and it was just it was all sorts of stuff that we tried to get the interview so bad last year we were unable to do it's it. It's an interview years in the making. <laughs> Why did you take the DeLorean and go back to yes. the oh, 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 oh. So uh, one, one of the other cool things now I'm I'm a tech junkie guy, production junkie more so so I'm into like the lasers and all that stuff. And you have this really cool uh, projection system. This is what your company does, correct? Yes, it, it does yes, the it like building projection system. Yes, it is. Um, architectural mapping is, is hot now. When when LED came out and the prices came down, people will thought, well, there goes projection. It's going to go away. And then somebody decided to throw it on, a, on, the, on the side of a building. And, uh, and then so we got architectural mapping. Uh, we merged with a company a couple years ago where we do camera calibration and architectural mapping. So the camera does all the mapping and the warping and the blending on the building by itself. It takes all the guesswork out of the, it takes you know, my job away. All I gotta do is push a button. Now, how, do, how much work goes into developing something like this? Cause Most of it is in the content production. You can, you can I mean, you can do content, you, you can throw light all over the building all you want. But you gotta have a good story, and you gotta have good production content to go around with it. I mean, it's gotta, it's gotta capture the the, uh, the the viewer's eye. Absolutely. I mean, what you, I, I can watch the model all day because it's just so cool. Oh, yeah. And I know there's no bigger fan of projection shows. And first, like he loves the Disney World Castle show. Yeah, the first time I saw the Castle show with the projection on it was about a year and a half, almost two yeah. years ago. Coming up, up to you, about a year and a half ago. And uh, I was blown away. I said, this is not. A, a small little show you do, you know, before the big show. This is the big show, you know. Exactly. This is something that will someday, and now it is, uh, as of this yeah. week, is melded into the actual show itself. Not quite yet, it's still its own show. Uh, sorry, it's still the works, but it, bottom line, it'll bring that castle, it'll bring the fireworks, everything together into one big show. Well, Paris does it. Though, Paris so does it, yeah. There you go. Now, so. tell, tell us about some of the shows you've done, and uh, we don't have anything in the States, but you've done shows in Mexico. Yeah, do done shows in Mexico, a few in the States, and, and mostly all throughout Europe. Um, and as I was mentioning, that the United States unfortunately doesn't have a lot of really neat architecture to throw uh, projection on. Mostly, it's all glass, and and projection doesn't do well on glass. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we do. Uh, we've done this is a castle in Austria. This is actually the actual show we're watching. This model is uh, one thirty fifth scale of that castle. Um, so we're actually watching the, the actual show on it. Um, but we, yeah, we've done castles all throughout the uh, throughout Europe and um, Mexico and, and Montreal. So um, it's a lot of fun. It's it's one of the more fun things I get to do. Now I bet you have a killer Christmas display. Yeah. Your house, <laughs> I bet you you have your house. Like people are li lined up for miles because Kevin's house is like decked the halls. There's everything going crazy all over I, your house. I, I'm, my office is open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, obviously Thursday and Friday I'm closed to put up my, my Christmas show. Oh. Really? I will have I wasn't projection. lying. I was just kidding. I was yeah. kidding. So you have a projection on your house? I have a, I'll have a where, projection where are you on from? my house. I'm in here in celebration. Hey, I'm okay. going. <laughs> you, you live right down the road? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, okay. 
Wow. So uh, we can stop by your house and get some video. Uh, yeah. He can stop yeah. by with his camera and yeah. we'll throw it up on our YouTube page. There we go. All right, now, now being a fan and doing this, and obviously it's a passion as well as a, a profession, do you have like a dream building or a dream project that you would love to do? Yeah, actually it's always been in my head. I, uh, I visited Montezuma's castle when I was in Arizona. Yeah, I, um, yeah Arizona. And I don't know if you know Montezuma's castle, it's, it's the Indians have um, built, the, built their condo flex inside, this, inside the mountain. So they carved out the mountain mm -hmm. and built this like condominium complex inside the Very mountain. Very cool. And it's just screaming for projection. It's just, <laughs> I mean, you see it, it's just screaming for projection. So no, I'd love to that, do that. Uh, I want to say that's a national park, too. Yes, isn't it is. It? Yes, so it that is. would be something that you would think that maybe they would want to you know, attract some visitors and exactly. do something like yeah. a, a projection show. That so Montezuma's cool. castle, if you're listening, this guy's available. Yeah. Give him a call. <laughs> All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Thank it was you, great man. to finally get you on camera. Yes, and I'm going to have to go see your Christmas. Definitely. Yeah. We'll We're going to have to get a hold of you. Yeah. Absolutely.